Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't need to, and today we are talking about Palantir Technologies and their PLTR stock. In this video, we're going to be analyzing three articles to where the first one is titled, Palantir increased its guidance, but investors are selling. Is it time to buy the stock? After that, we're going to talk about their various price targets from analysts, and then lastly, I will give you my thoughts on this company. So if you want more videos on Palantir Technologies and their PLTR stock, go ahead and annihilate that like button right now. Subscribe if you are new, and without further ado, let's get right into today's story. Palantir Technologies, if you didn't know, is a big data and analytics company which serves both commercial enterprises as well as government agencies. However, this company has mainly been in the news because they are one of the best artificial intelligence companies to buy right now. And recently, the company added around 41 new customers to its US commercial business, which is very impressive. On top of that, we are also seeing further expansion within Palantir's existing customer base, and here's what I mean. If a customer already has a contract with Palantir, let's say for a million dollars a year, the next year, or even a few years after their original contract, that customer will either double down on their contract or end up spending more money with Palantir over time. So although they can start at just $1 million per year, that can jump up to $1.5 million per year or even $5 million per year. So not only is Palantir adding customers to their customer base, but their existing customers are continuously expanding their relationship relationship with Palantir and Palantir's products. This should show investors that Palantir's products are the real deal, and they truly make other businesses more effective and efficient. But the good news doesn't stop there with just their US commercial business, because when we look at their commercial business internationally, that is actually growing around a 16% CAGR up to $149 million. Now the only little problem here is that Palantir's CAGR in regards to their international commercial revenue fell by 3% sequentially from 19% down to 16%, but over the long term, I anticipate that this will kick up as time goes on. Palantir's commercial business is bursting at the seams because of their artificial intelligence platform. Many investors believe that Palantir's AIP platform offers a huge future growth potential for their US commercial customers as well as their international commercial customers. However, they are anticipating only modest growth coming out of Europe regarding their international customers, which represents around 16% of their business. Ideally, Ideally, we would like this percentage higher, but Europe is really going through it right now considering that their economy is just not very good and their GDP is either stalling or decreasing. So despite Europe's negative macroeconomic backdrop, Palantir's artificial intelligence platform should seemingly be able to help reduce costs for companies over in Europe. And that means Palantir won't be as affected as other companies by this macroeconomic weakness over in Europe. You should also be aware that Palantir recently noted that they are the sole contract for the Army's Titan program, and Titan stands for Tactical Intelligence Targeting Node. This means that Palantir is not only growing their commercial segment, but also their relationship with the U.S. government, because Palantir's government segment is huge, and it actually brings in more revenue than their commercial business. But like I've said before, I do believe that the future of Palantir is going to be in terms of their commercial enterprise business, considering that that has a much larger market capacity than their government business does. If Palantir continues to grow their commercial business, eventually that commercial business will outpace the amount of revenue that is coming in from their commercial clients. And I do believe this is the future for Palantir Technologies, especially because of their artificial intelligence platform being so popular in that particular segment. The article also correctly points out that, quote, Palantir raised its full year revenue outlook to a range between $2.677 billion to $2.689 billion, which is above their prior forecast of $2.65 2 billion and 2.668 billion dollars, which is great news for investors. Now, what's really exciting for me is that they also revised their adjusted operating income forecast to be between the range of 868 million to 880 million dollars, while the prior range that they gave was between 834 million and 850 million dollars, which is great news for investors because these new adjustments are very positive. I'm sure you know that they already released their first quarter results, but now we are looking to the second quarter, which is going to be be quite positive in my personal opinion. Right now, the company is guiding for the revenues to be between $649 million and $653 million for their second quarter. 
On top of that, their adjusted income from operations are going to be between $209 million and $213 million, which again is great news for investors. But despite all of this good news, why has the company been falling in their respected share price? Well, let's talk about it. The author of this article correctly highlights that one of the main reasons why Palantir stock fell, despite these very solid financial results, is due to the company's valuation. I've been saying this for quite a while, that Palantir is trading at a premium right now, which means that they are trading very high compared to what they are bringing in. Their market cap is a lot higher than the profits and the revenues that they are bringing in for the company, which adds risk to investors. The article correctly highlights that for a company like Palantir, which is growing their revenues at a 20% CAGR, that is not enough to withstand a 20 times valuation multiple for that particular accounting ratio, which would be their PS ratio. Therefore, to justify this valuation, either the share price of the company needs to fall, or they need to increase the amount of their revenue CAGR, and ideally they would increase the amount of revenues that they are bringing in, but because that hasn't been happening, and since investors recently got new financial information because of their quarter one results and their quarter two forecasts, this is why investors are selling, which is pushing down their share price, which is fixing their valuation problem. However, this is not a huge problem, because depending on if you are a long-term investor, eventually Palantir Technologies will keep up or even surpass these forward multiples, which means that right now still could be a good buying opportunity. But for me, I would rather be risk averse and wait for the company to fall lower in their respected share price. Another reason why the company's share price could be falling is because analysts were guiding and forecasting and estimating that this company should have raised their EPS and their revenue values higher for the entire year than what management actually said. Therefore, Palantir's full year guidance increases in regards to the revenues just did not justify their current valuation and analysts were disappointed. And when we shovel on the negative European market, which is impacting their international business, again, this is another reason why their share price is falling. But then this begs the question, is right now a good time to buy Palantir stock? Well, it depends. This is going to depend on a lot of variables, such as your age, your investing habits, your health, your investment strategy, how long you plan to hold this company, which is your investment horizon, and how high you are willing to pay for this company, and what you believe this company will turn into over the long Long term. There are a plethora of other variables that you should also take into consideration, which is why I would always recommend you do your own research before you make any investment decision. Palantir stock has already had a huge run over the past year, and this is mainly because of artificial intelligence and the hype surrounding it, which was a perfect time for Palantir to release their artificial intelligence platform. This in turn caused the price to skyrocket for Palantir's PLTR share price, but now Palantir has a valuation problem, which means either their revenues need to increase or their share price needs to come down. This is why the author of this article concludes that Palantir is not growing fast enough and their share price isn't falling quick enough to justify their forward sales ratio, which is an accounting ratio also known as their PS multiple. Therefore, he would like to see a lower stock price or future signs of growth that are around or above 30% before buying back into this company. Now, for me personally, I think Palantir is a great company to hold in your portfolio. I think it is fundamentally very solid and we're going to talk about how solid it is a little later in this video, but don't be a fool make sure to get this company at a good discount, which is going to add to your gains later. For me personally, I'm going to wait for this company to fall between $18 to $20 before I decide to nibble at this company. But now let's talk about their price targets. For instance, in 2024, the company should be worth around $25 per share, and right now they are trading at around $20 per share, so technically, according to this article, the company is already undervalued. But the news gets better, because in 2025, it should be worth around $30, and then in 2026, it should be worth around $30. $5, but the news gets even better than that. The reason being is because some analysts believe the company should be worth $35 in 2024, which is great news for some investors. But again, always make sure to do your own research. There are even some analysts who believe during the second half of this year that the company will rapidly increase the amount of revenues that they are bringing in, which will increase their overall CAGR close to around 30%. Obviously, this is going to be great news in regards to their valuation, and hopefully investors will be paying attention to these future developments. Like I've said before, their commercial business is going to be the crux of this company's long-term success. As soon as their commercial business eclipses the amount of government revenues that they are bringing in, the sky is truly the limit for this company. You see, their commercial addressable market is much larger than their government addressable market, which means that if they can further integrate themselves into that commercial market, there are going to be more opportunities to make money. Luckily, Palantir has a foot in both of these markets, so while one market adds stability, 
profitability to this company, the other one provides a very long growth runway. You should also be aware that Palantir is a profitable company, and they have historically prioritized reinvesting those profits back into their own business, which will incentivize future growth. Palantir has achieved their sixth consecutive quarter of profitability, and the company is also extremely well positioned in regards to their future fundamentals. They are set to generate very robust operating income and free cash flow, which is just going to further invigorate their overall share price over the long term. It seems that in general, in my opinion, Palantir stock is largely misunderstood by Wall Street analysts. However, the flip side is also true because some investors overhype Palantir technologies, and honestly, we need to be somewhat in the middle. Palantir is a very fundamentally solid company which is profitable, but we don't want to overhype a good company. Instead, we want to be smart and we want to buy into this company at good share prices. So as 2024 continues and their commercial revenues slowly continues to outpace their government revenue, eventually this is going to be a prime time to buy this stock. One of my favorite things about this company is that they are very stable fundamentally, and here's what I mean by that. They have billions of dollars worth of cash and or cash equivalents on their balance sheet, and they essentially have zero long-term debt. This means that Palantir is very well positioned to either A, acquire another company, B, pay off any debts if they decide to go into debt, C, be prepared for any black swan event, or D, this company is so well positioned that even if a macroeconomic problem happens in America, this company could burn through money for quite a while, meaning that it could tread water without going out of business for a very long time. These are all factors which makes this company a very safe bet in regards to them not going out of business. So with all of that safety, this makes this company a very good buying opportunity in my opinion, but always make sure to do your own research. As of right now, Palantir Technologies only makes up around 1-2% to of my portfolio because I recently sold off after their earnings result at a pretty high share price. And now I am waiting for a better time to buy back into this company, even though I do hold a core position in this company, which I will never sell because that core position is anticipated to be a long-term investment. But with all of that being said, go ahead and I like that like button for more videos just like this one. Subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you in the next YT video.